a brutal business and Labour was reminded of that this year. Uh, Kamal Cephaloni and Penny Henare, it is a tough transition uh, back into opposition, isn't it? But you have had, I suppose, five weeks while the other side have been getting their act together to get used to the idea. Yeah, we, we have. And we also know coming into this role uh, that you're not always going to be in government. And opposition's a really important part of our democracy. Uh, we're in it for the fight. And actually, you get to fight a lot when you're in opposition. You have been in opposition before, and you were really effective, actually. But why do you want to go back, personally? Well, we don't choose to be in opposition, obviously. We uh, prefer to be in government. I actually think I've learned a lot during my time in government, and I'm looking forward to doing things like sitting on select committee and holding the government to account in a way that I don't think I could have done before not having been in government. Uh, we got into politics for the fight, and um, that's certainly what we're going to be doing. Um, Penny, it's been a tough time for the Labour uh, caucus. What stage of grief? How's the heart over there? What stage of grief are you at now? I think the best way to describe it is e mana waruana. And so for the new government and all the whānau out there, that means a strong beating heart. And, you know, I'm really proud of a caucus who have come through a difficult time. But as my colleague has said, you know, we're focused on what we have to do and opposition is an important role. What will this summer be like for your party? Because I suppose when you come out of government, there's a, there's a reorganisation that has to happen. But will people be reflecting over the summer, Carmel? Could we see some more resignations next year? Um, certainly be reflecting. I don't think politicians are able to turn their brains off, so I think they'll be thinking about the year ahead. Uh, as for resignations, um, we certainly haven't heard of any more coming our way, and uh, our colleagues are very much focused on what their spokespeople roles are uh, and the work that they're going to be undertaking next year. Penny, what do you see as the greatest weakness in the government, you know, from where you're standing? Yeah, look, um, it, it's unity. And, you know, um, we've been in a coalition government in 2017, when both Carmel and I were ministers. Um, we know that it can be chaotic. It's difficult when you've got three different parties together. Um, it's sometimes difficult with your own party. So, <laughs> so I, I think that's a challenge. Um, but to my colleagues' words, you know, like, having been so busy over the past six years, me personally, I'm looking forward to a little bit of a summer because we had a stink summer last year. Yeah. Maybe a bit of fishing, maybe a bit of crayfish, you know. Looking forward to it. Hey, I wondered actually whether there might be some more time for the parliamentary rugby team for you. <laughs> Although, I hear that you pulled a couple of hamstrings last time, but that you can commentate in today. Yeah, that's right. And um, I think they've already called out to me to play and I don't know if my knee's up for it, but look, I, you know, it's all those things that I do love about being in parliament and I was in opposition in 2014 and Got to cut my teeth there, and I'm looking forward to getting back there. Carmel, um, what, is, what is your advice, I suppose, to Kiwis who are heading out over the summer who might have OD'd uh, on politics the, this year? Yeah, certainly um, for all New Zealanders, including us, it's just about surrounding yourself with your loved ones, with the people that you may not have had a chance to catch up with over the course of what has been a busy year. Uh, hopefully we do get that sunshine because we certainly missed out last year. Uh, so looking forward to the weather. There will be those political conversations around the barbecue, I am sure. Um, but we all need to know when to kind of cut those off and just talk about the other things that matter, like Alfano, our gardens, uh, everyday things outside of politics. Yeah, and I want to ask you just to finish, you know, what, what has been your non-political highlight of the year? Um, probably two really quickly. Um, first would be getting my traditional Samoan women's tattoo, the manu, uh, which I had been trying to organise for a number of years and that happened this year. Uh, the second is that I've got uh, moko number two on the way and it's a little girl this time, so I'm very excited about that. That is exciting news. Thank you so much, Carmel Sibaloni and Penny Henare, for joining us, not just here at this show, but throughout the year as well. Thank you so much.